The Swift 7 has a black aluminum unibody that feels really high quality in your hands and looks pretty awesome. With a thickness of just 8.98mm, it is again the thinnest notebook in the world. And I'm always very stunned by how thin the manufacturers can produce these notebooks, especially for me because I'm traveling a lot. This thin notebook is really the perfect companion. It has a 14-inch multi-touch IPS display with a thin bezel and a resolution of full HD. The predecessor had 13.3 inch, so now we have a bigger display with almost the same dimensions, which is pretty nice. We have the Intel Core i7 of the 7th generation in this notebook, so we have enough power for our daily work and the battery life is up to 10 hours, which is like a full workday or even an intercontinental flight. The system gets 8 gigs of RAM and the user a fast PCIe SSD with up to 256 gigabytes. For your data security, there's a fingerprint reader over here on the left side of the keyboard where you can log in securely with Windows Hello. And as you can see, the operating system is Windows 10. And finally, we have an illuminated keyboard now on the Swift 7. Especially when you're working at night, this is really super important. Below the keyboard, we have the big touchpad with integrated mouse buttons. And thanks to the Intel XMM 4G LTE module, you're always connected to the internet with a nano SIM or an eSIM. And for your network, we have Wi-Fi 802.11ac with 2x2 MIMO. And let's check out the ports. So on the left side, we have the headphone jack and two USB-C ports. And on the other side, we have the power button. So what can I say about the Swift 7 after playing with it for a while? It is really light, super, super thin, and I really like the build quality. So Acer again showed us the thinnest notebook in the world, especially for people who travel a lot. This is really the device to have. And it will come out end of March 2018. Too bad Acer didn't announce any price yet. Just check out newgadgets.de and we will show you the prices once they are announced. So this was our first hands-on of the new Acer Swift 7 over here at the CES 2018 in Las Vegas. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up over here on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe our channel so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos, especially over here at CES 2018, because there will be a lot of new products. And if you have any questions about this device, just leave me a comment down in the comment section below and I will try to answer it as soon as possible. So thanks for watching and see you in my next video.